depression in older adults causes not only increased suffering and caregiver burden for family members, but also amplifies the disability associated with other common medical disorders and geriatric syndromes. Depression is now established as a risk factor for the onset of dementing illness in older adults. It increases the hazard twofold. Treating depression may not only help to restore cognitive function, but may delay, if not altogether prevent, the onset of dementing illnesses. We have recently published an observation in the British Medical Journal to the effect that appropriate treatment of depression in old age, evidence-based treatment, leads to a 24% reduction in mortality over an eight-year follow-up, secondary to reduction in deaths due to cancer. Ordinarily, depression is associated with, again, a twofold increase in the hazard for mortality in older adults relative to the mortality rates seen in non-depressed older adults. Our study was the first to show that good depression treatment not only makes a difference in quality of life, but also in the quantity of life. It can prolong life substantially. It's important to screen for depression in general medical practice, particularly with older adults. There are a number of convenient screeners that can be completed either by the patient himself or herself or by a family member. It is very cost effective to provide treatment for uh, older adults in primary care settings. The fact that you can help someone get well and stay well for a relatively modest amount of money I think is a good argument uh, for treating depression in general medical settings. For many older patients, if you use the word depression, you're using a word that is stigmatized and off-putting. So I prefer to speak to my patients in experiential language that gets close to what they live on a day-to-day -day basis. It's easier to establish uh, an alliance with the patient and with their family as well and to engage them in a discussion then about the importance and the rationale for treatment. I would encourage uh, physicians to screen regularly for depression and to treat it when it's present involving family members and caregivers if possible.